Here's a very interesting article titled, The UFO Phenomenon as Demonic Activity. This article was written by Charles Upton in early 2012. Charles Upton wrote this article for an excellent blog site called ufoculture.blogspot.com. He says that the UFO phenomenon has three separate yet related aspects. It produces real material world events detectable by radar and sometimes leaving behind physical traces. It is a psychic phenomenon that profoundly alters the consciousness of those exposed to it. It is apparently surrounded by deception activities which mimic it produced by human groups. We tend to consider these elements as mutually exclusive, but they're not. All three are explainable by demonic activity and invocation. He says that demons are subtle beings who can temporarily materialize themselves in various objects in this world, but who cannot remain in our material plane for very long. And the deception activities of human groups, besides being attempts to piggyback on a phenomenon that the deceivers didn't originate and can't control, may be designed not simply to imitate the aliens to influence mass belief, but to actually invoke them. This suggests the possibility that elements of the intelligence community and various arcane technologists are involved in Satanism. Magicians have always known that they could produce paranormal phenomena through auto-suggestion. Then in the early 20th century, as studies of the effects of propaganda in the radio, radio age became better known, they reasoned that if changing their own consciousness and could produce local manifestations of the preternatural, changing the consciousness of the masses could produce global ones. And according to French metaphysician René Guénon, fissures are now starting to appear in the Great Wall separating the material world from the subtle energy dimension home to those entities that we regard as extraterrestrial entities. And so on the article goes. I won't l read everything, but uh, part of it. It says here that I believe that the powers that be are playing a game of both debunking the reality of UFOs and covertly planting evidence of their reality as a method of mass mind control using a technique I call subliminal contradiction. And it says also that the disclosure movement has many sponsors who have military or intelligence backgrounds. It is dedicated to pressuring the government to come clean on what it knows about alien contact. Apparently this is what government wants them to do. Anyway, this is an excellent article that I highly recommend. Uh, here's an interesting part. Another example of demonic invocation. Pioneer rocket scientist Jack Parsons was a follower of black magician Aleister Crowley and an associate of L. Ron Hubbard, another follower of Crowley, who founded the Church of Scientology and had a background in naval intelligence. Parsons identified himself with Antichrist, dedicated himself to the destruction of Christianity, claimed to have met a Venusian in the Mojave de Desert, performed pagan rituals at his launchings, and went on to co-found the Aerojet Corporation and the Jet Propulsion Laboratory. He produced some of the first designs for the Pentagon. A crater was named after him on the dark side of the moon. And anyway, I highly recommend this item. He says that a mere 24 hours after Arnold Dahl made one of the first major post-World War II sightings of UFOs in Washington State in 1947, he was visited by a man in black who told him to forget what he saw. A meeting was then arranged between him and another 
UFO sighter Kenneth Arnold, who coined the term flying saucer, in a hotel room. Soon afterwards, a covertly taped transcript of their meeting was sent anonymously to the UPI. How could such well-designed plan to exploit their reactions to those sightings have been put into action so soon after the events themselves? Only if those events were either anticipated or produced by the planners. But anyway, I highly recommend this article and I also highly recommend everyone to check out this great blog site called ufoculture.blogspot.com This site is maintained by a colleague Thomas Scolarici uh, so please go to this website ufoculture.blogspot.com and you'll find some amazing interesting and important articles relevant to this mysterious phenomenon called UFO phenomena. This is Norio Hayakawa in Rio Rancho, New Mexico.